Haven't been out too long yet this morning, but we've already got the first catch. Fairly clean, not too small. Good start to the day. I think we may be preparing for another hot day of uh, flounder fishing here. That's a good oh yeah. Size one. Yeah, that's a good size one. Perfect hook. Number two. That's good size one. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. We have fish number three on for the morning. And I'm just about to actually get my line in the water here soon too. Cute. Nope. Not really as big as the others, but he'll do. Got him right through the lip again. That's perfect. Number four on. And that was no sooner than I threw it up. Yeah, I'm cooking them, getting them good too. And they're biting. And we now have number five. Number five on here. Oh, that's a sizable one too. Yeah, Maybe the biggest one we've caught yet. I'm yeah, not sure. I think so. Yeah. Oh. That's a big boy. Yeah, definitely one of the bigger meat. ones. It's pretty sweet. All right, another one in. And you can see them doing what they do, laying flat on the I bottom. Like they're resigned to their fate already. Yep. Double hooks. Oh, one got off. Oh. Here, I got my sticky glove on. Well, I'm sure the other one's down there still hungry. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Awesome. Oh, did they both hop off? They sure as hell did. Well, we just caught the same two fish, possibly again. I don't think it was the same two. And both, uh, you know, are toying with us here. They keep jumping off the hooks, you know, our little barbless hooks. Yeah, that's because I'm not sure, I think. But if you get them up that high again, maybe we'll grab the net. Yeah. Brian's been out catch. Brian's been out catching me all morning, but I finally got my first one on here. So I'm gonna grab him here and get him in the tank. I got one. Oh, and as I'm saying that, he's telling the, me that he's just got one. This side. Yeah. Get him, let me get him by the gill. Nope. Now I do. All right. It's another sizable one.
Got him. Brian just pulled in another one here. We're catching them about as fast as we can get the hooks down. So we'll get this guy in the tank with the rest of them. Nice. Is this number eight now or nine? Nine, I think. Kind of little, maybe I'll just throw him back. Yeah, we can. <laughs> He'll eat. Yeah. Kick it off. Come on now, buddy. So we're just pulling in our biggest flounder, I think, today. And we're both agreeing here. We think this is the biggest one we've hooked up so far out here. That's sizable. That one's got some meat on him. So, in he goes. Oh, that one's moving around. That's a, that's that's a, a uh, rockfish or a cabazon like or something. It. It's like sea bass. Is that what that is? Oh, it looks kind of like a cabazon. Only small. They don't have horns or anything, do they? Yeah. Yeah, you say that. Let's grab them. He probably doesn't have big poisonous spines or anything. A big mouth. It's got teeth in there. I'm not sure what this one is. Anybody can identify this exactly for us. Uh, you know, feel free to drop a comment down below. But we're gonna kick him back. That monkey's got much meat on him. Off he goes. Fun to catch, though. Yeah. Look a fight. Look at the size of that one. We're getting bigger. Another hefty flounder. I'm going to rig mine up with a smaller hook and one of those uh, little gulp baits, too. Yeah. This one's feisty. Well, he fights with that. I'm going to get mine ready to go back in the water. All right, so we just moved around. We just moved around to the other side of Hat Island here to uh, set up for some lunch because they weren't biting over on the uh, north side. And why do you have that lure down? 30 seconds? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I got a fish on. Another big flounder here. Back in, uh, I don't know if we should call this Sandy's Hole or not, but... Last video I had where we pulled in 17 in an afternoon, this is where we were at. So, trying to sit up the pot here, make some chili, and, uh, I don't know, do some fishing. Alright, that's right, don't bring them over the chili pot. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so Brian's taking to rooftop fishing while I try and prepare some, uh, Fine Walmart brand no bean chili here. This has been a cold rainy morning and uh, we're ready for something warm. We haven't even had oatmeal or coffee yet. Has just been too busy pulling fish in. After relocating, it looks like it's going to be more of the same. Another buried hook. They're extra hungry today. I'm going to pass some pliers up and deal with this fish. Then get back to making our lunch. We'll uh, be back with more, I'm sure.
here? Yeah. It's reading close to the end of the day. We have a tank full of flounder here. Um, between the two of us, we haven't hit a two person limit, but we're probably over one person for sure. And I just threw a nice big bird nest, so I'm working through that. Always great when that happens. Again, there's not any clouds above us. Is it really? Yeah, it is. And now we're getting some light rain too, which is great because we got like 20 some fish to clean. But I am bird nest free. Man, I just lost my line again. Did you really? Yep. Check it out. Snapped it off at that, uh... Is that 10 pound? Yeah. I have to switch off the 10 pound. 10, so, 10 pound fluorocarbon is not cutting it. Once we cinch it up on a couple of dropper loops, um, pull it tight, and that's with, you know, plenty of lube on it before tying it up. But that's two now. I've lost, you can see the swivel where I lost the line. So I may just reel my stuff in and start cleaning fish for the day. Because honestly, we've got a lot. So, you know, might as well start taking care of them while there's still a little daylight left before the rain comes. And I'm gonna go to a heavier line and then maybe put some uh, lighter offshoots off of it. But well, this isn't working for me. I want the fish on. Not, you know, the fish bait floating around in the water somewhere. But anyway, all on a day of fishing. So, we'll uh, hit the pause for now while we do the needful with the fish and uh, see what goes from there. So off in the distance, you can see the snow-capped mountains peeking up above the clouds with the nearly full moon over the water. And then as we come around, you can see the sun setting off in the distance across another range of mountains with clouds. So overall, been a pretty good day. We caught a full blown limit of fish. So so as the video was dying on me there a moment ago, it was saying that off in this direction, you can see a setting sun over mountains um, that are above clouds. Then back behind me here is the moon coming up over the water and um, you know, looking good. And we still have just insanely smooth water today, which is great because we're going to be um, tearing it up, getting back to dock, hopefully before it gets pitch black out and we have to dodge logs. But incredible day out, full limit of fish easily uh, for one, uh, two of us, so we're not you know over limit by any means. But uh, spent the last hour out here filleting flounder and still have four left for hauling in a hole. So 
which is okay because one of my uh, buddy's housemates enjoys eating them whole. Apparently they cook them whole. Haven't tried that yet myself. Don't know that I ever will, but hey, if it's good, it's good. So anyway, thanks for watching this week. Sorry there's not a lot of rough water action or anything going on. But, you know, they can't all be awful days out in winter. Oddly enough, we seem to hit a lot of really nice days out. And um, still have to go pull a crab pod. And after that, we are uh, hightailing it back. And at the moment, I don't know if you can see inside here, but we have our heater going. So we've had our uh, hot chili for the day. We've had coffee. And uh, now we have heat. We're going to go pull our crab pod and uh, get back in. So thanks for watching. And we will catch everybody again next week. Take care.